Hi, you guys. I am sitting here getting inspired by the sewing pattern McCall's 7572. It's one of their more recent vintage reproduction patterns. This one is the one for the oversized blazer. Um, I threw it out there and asked you guys if you would like to get some ideas for vintage patterns being styled more modern, like how we would wear them today. So I decided I would start with the vintage blazer. A lot of you suggested that I make the patterns and then style them myself. And while in a perfect world, I would love to do that for you. I don't have the time or resources to do that all by myself. Um, I, I do want to start making vintage patterns and styling them more modernly like I naturally would. Um, but I'm not gonna be able to do that with every release. I wanna pick one pattern from every release and do this kind of styling video with it, utilizing our friend Pinterest. So what I've done is pulled together a bunch of looks, um, both from the 90s, where you, so you can see how the girls back then were wearing oversized blazers, and also from today, and how the women in the 2020s are wearing oversized blazers. Um, I think you're really gonna be able to tell the difference in styling as we go through each of them. You're gonna be see, able to see some through lines, some things that are consistent across the board, but you're also gonna be able to see kind of what elevates it, what makes it more modern versus looking more dated. Um, that way, when you go to put your outfit together, you can consider some of those things um, as you're doing that. So without further ado, let's look through some of these all right, so let's first take a look at the pattern and see what we can assess just from looking at the pattern itself. Now this is gonna help us kind of pick out some of the details that we need to look at when we're considering, you know, dressing this more modern. Now we don't have a lot to look at here in terms of photos. Okay, so I know we have some different necklines. We have a little notched collar. We have the um, oh, shawl collar. Shawl collar, notch collar. Okay, cool. We have a sort of extended shoulder. There's probably a shoulder pad in here. I think what's happening here is this is extending beyond the shoulder, but we still have a pretty significant shoulder cap. So that's what's giving it the oversized look. It's definitely boxy. It is, you know, lots of room in the waist, even some room in the hip and, you know, wrist length sleeves. And then the back is really simple. There are no darts, there are no pleats, there's no shaping in this whatsoever. You can even see from the low point shoulder down to your side seam at the hem, it's just a rectangle with sleeves sewn in. So this is gonna be a boxy, by definition, a boxy oversized blazer, okay? Come back uh, down memory lane with me and look at some of the most iconic 90s blazers oversized from our favorite celebrities and movies. Here is Julia Roberts. This I think is from Mystic Pizza, an excellent movie if you've never seen it. Really, really great movie. Um, and you can see here, it is a little bit, let's view this, it's a little bit dark, this one is, but you can see we've got that extended shoulder, right? It comes away from the shoulder, it comes straight down um, the side seams are also boxy. You can see from the low point shoulder right down to her hemline is, a, is essentially a straight line making that box. Um, we do have, I think, a bit of a curved hem here and also our notched collar, long sleeves. Love you, Julia. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite actresses or actors altogether. Um, this is, I guess, just a magazine ad, but if this isn't 90s styling, I don't know what is. Um, if you remember what we just looked at, Julia had basic white tee, a brown belt, similar mom jeans, okay? <laughs> this one, this one has a bit of a raglan sleeve, which is different than our vintage pattern, but it gives that same sort of oversized extended shoulder. Um, she's not standing up, so we can't see how boxy this is, but you can see the notched collar. And more importantly, I just wanted to show the styling, right? Shirt tucked in, brown belt jeans, just like Julia had. She also has these adorable little socks and these little flats. That is definitely also in style right now, but that's also very on the nose, trendy 90s. You don't have to go in that hard. Um, this one... 
is from, oh wow, look at baby Cameron, Cameron Diaz. Hold on, let me find that photo. I don't quite know what, oh, look at this. Is that Princess Diana? That outfit is incredible. Oh, love it. Um, Drew Barrymore, Winona, and Gwyneth. Wow. Wow, what a time to be alive, the 90s. My goodness. Okay, here's a Julia in a maybe that same outfit. The boxy blazer, white tee tucked in, belt, kind of baggy jeans, long necklaces, sneakers. Right? This is a very easy thing to mimic. Granted, you don't want to look like you just were ripped from the pages of the 90s. Um, so you'd want to elevate it a little bit with your jeans and with your belt, maybe even the type of t-shirt you're wearing. And then again, we've got Princess Diana, white shirt, brown belt, tucked into jeans, little ballet flats. Okay, so I think what we can learn from just looking at these inspo photos is if you have an oversized coat, what is happening underneath needs to show a little bit more of your figure. You need to have a little bit more of a body underneath that. Looking through these, we have this blazer styling, again, shirt tucked in to a pair of jeans. These modernized looks are going to have jeans with different silhouettes than what we saw in the 90s. So closer fitting jeans, hers are cropped. They have the little like raw edge, a higher boot, like up the ankle instead of those little ballet flats and a graphic tee. Graphic tees are one of the easiest ways to modernize like a tucked in white t-shirt moment. Graphic tees are more modern, believe it or not, than the classic white tee. The classic white tee is always going to be great, but it's always going to be a throwback. This is a classic white tee, but it's cropped, okay? Cropped, and then you have the baggy jean. Because the top is cropped, some skin is showing. If you had cropped top and skinny jeans, that would read a little bit sexy. And I think she was trying to go for, especially when you look at the shoes with the Converse sneaker, she's trying to go for a little bit more casual. Now, if she had put this blazer over a dress, the blazer would look really dressy. She is dressing down the blazer almost intentionally, whereas this other girl that we just saw, she's matching. She's matching the vibe of the blazer with the vibe underneath. Okay, here's a cute one that I really like that felt very modern. Um, this is a little mini skirt a long sleeve white t-shirt. Now hers is more scrunched, but you could definitely tuck it in. She's got her oversized blazer and then a little sock and a pointy toed like loafery type of thing. Very doable, very doable. And she does not look like a vintage pattern illustration. She looks very cool, very modern. Um, I would probably even add some jewelry to this. I'd put my hair up. I like my hair up with a collared situation. Here's another really cool one with a skirt. This one has a button front skirt. She's wearing a button down shirt, tucked in still, and pulled the sleeves out the bottom of the cuffs of the jacket. That's all she's done to make this like cool girl vibe. She's got the white socks and the loafers again, a little, a little bag, and she looks very stylish to me. Very like she put some thought into this especially with the scrunched up sleeve and the, um, of the jacket and the shirt sleeve coming out underneath. Very cool vibes. Here is an it girl. Okay. This is very Hailey Bieber, very like Gen Z, but it's some kind of fitted something underneath like, a one of those little onesies, like a jumpsuit leggings and a tank top, something like that. Your oversized blazer, uh, ankle socks and a sneaker. And of course, you cannot do it without the New York hat and glasses. Then she has big, chunky jewelry and a dressy bag. So it's like dressy, casual, dressy, casual, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth as your eye kind of goes around what she's wearing. Um, here is somebody doing, again, a little crop top. Now she's playing with texture a little bit because she's got the silky fabric of her top. Then she's got a straight leg jean and a little sandal with her big boxy blazer. <clears throat> but the silhouette underneath is contradicting what's happening with the blazer on top. This girl is doing very similar to the, what the first girl we looked at is doing with the ripped jean that's cropped and the raw hem, a pointed toe boot, 
white shirt tucked in, oversized blazer, cool glasses, right? I don't think she looks frumpy. I don't think she looks like vintage at all. She looks very modern and up to date. This was interesting to me because obviously they're accessorizing on the outside. They're literally turning this into a, um, is it called a coat dress? Jacket? No, coat dress. Um, they're making this the dress. Now these pants underneath are more like a jegging, I think. You could do a legging, you could do a tight, depending on how opaque the tights were and how long your jacket is. But the proportion here comes into play with the belt cinching at the waist and the sleeve kind of scrunching ending at that narrow part too. Center line that um, is the narrowest part of her waist. Here, I think I pulled, I started pulling girls that were a little bit more midsize in case you're like, I don't look like a model. I don't either. I'm a midsize girly. Okay. Rip jeans. Okay, she's doing something uh, uh, that I don't love anymore. This is the heel with the with the tapered jean. Not my fave. I would swap that out for like a uh, like a fitted boot. But turtleneck underneath, sleeve scrunched up, crossbody bag. Very simple. I mean, we're really kind of letting the blazer do all the talking here. This one has. Very cool look, right? Again, leading into like the slouchiness of it all. We've got a ripped up jean short with the button down, white button down. They're all the same length. Jacket, shirt, shorts, all the same length. And then she's doing hers with a platform knee high boot and a hat. This girl looks really cool. This girl looks like, I don't know if I could pull that off. Like, I don't know if I'm that cool. This woman, however, is right up my alley. Chunky turtleneck. She put the blazer over her shoulders and did not put her arms in. Blake Lively does this all the time. Um, so it gives the illusion of like a smaller body underneath, almost like a cape would, uh, without you having to actually put your arms in. And if you live in a warmer climate, this is a little bit war This is a little bit of a cooler way temperature wise cooler way to wear it like it's not as hot when you don't put your arms in but the sweater's got a french tuck you've got a cropped raw hem jean and a little slide on loafer here's another really cool look for spring or even fall again the ripped up jean now remember the jean is the same length as the jacket okay that helps everything look like it's one piece and then the button down with the sleeve being pulled out belt and then a big straw bag and a straw type sandal and then lastly this is the classic look this is probably how i would wear it 99 percent of the time oversized blazer over some kind of legging and a top a onesie you know whatever you've got but clothes fitting underneath all one color and then a sock and a sneaker if she put on a hat and some sunglasses she would be even more cool um, but it really is that juxtaposition of like, this is athletic wear, this is office wear and wearing them together just makes it look so cool. And there you have it. I really hope that this helps you guys see how little it takes to take a pattern, no matter what year that it was originally designed in and how to make it more modern with this blazer. It really comes down to accessories and just some things that were naturally already like that have progressed like hairstyles makeup that kind of thing um but when you go to look at your jewelry your shoes your bags your hats your sunglasses all of those things are going to help make this blazer look like it was made for today and not like you're just stuck in the 90s and you haven't figured out that you need to modernize your wardrobe um so all of those things, plus keeping in mind the types of silhouettes that people are putting under the blazer. As you're putting your outfits together, consider what's underneath, consider color, whether you want it to be monochromatic or not. Black is always safe, white is always safe, denim is always safe. And then I think the third thing that maybe I didn't touch on enough in the video is fabric choice for the blazer. Pick a fabric that is going to be classic and easy to match. Don't pick that plaid that has the hot pink and the mustard yellow and all of that. Unless 
that genuinely speaks to your true authentic style. Otherwise, get the navy blue pinstripe. Get the basic herringbone, brown and mostly navy. Um, get one that's just feels very much like classic, classic colors and design, okay? We're not doing gingham. We're not doing any of that stuff. We're doing classic, okay? So like I said, I really hope that that helps you guys. Let me know what you thought of this video. Um, this is the first one I've ever done, so I'm kind of just winging it. But um, if you found parts that you really liked, let me know what those are. I'll keep them. If you wish that I had done something else, um, let me know that and I'll add it to the next one. But that's gonna do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching from Biscuit and I and Honey in the Background. <laughs> we'll see you all very soon. Bye.